We, we hear occasionally about problems in math. And no, they're not talking about what's eight times seven. No, they're talking about problems that the deepest thinkers in the field have attempted to solve over the centuries, mm -hmm. right? Is there, is there like a, 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 a book of the latest unsolved problems in math and then that's what uh, nerd geeks should, yeah. should check out of the library first? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's 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 been many. I mean, one of the most famous um, bodies of unsolved problems uh, in the year 2000, the Clay Math Institute put out these seven problems that they offered a one million dollar prize for. And so these ones are kind of the celebrities among unsolved problems. They're um, called like the Clay Millennium Math Problems. They are typically very hard to even describe what the problem is stating. Um, <laughs> so very classic. You can't even describe the problem of the problem you're supposed to solve. Right. You got to solve the problem, but you can't even describe. Nobody can tell you what the problem is. Now, to me, sir. That's, that's how you keep your million dollars. Yes. <laughs> I was going to say, that sounds a lot like being married. Oh, well, you know? right. <laughs> but what is the problem even that we're beginning to solve? Um, so, But there, there's also these celebrity unsolved problems that are in some sense, less important, but they're easier to state. And as a result, they're a lot more fun to just engage with for the, for the public. But there's, there's no prize money for those, right? Like not in the explicit sense that there is a particular institute that like put this check behind it. But like absolutely, if you solved any of these problems, you gain a certain fame within the math world. Probably you're doing it as an academic where it really bolsters your career. Like there's, there's plenty, if you want financial rewards, there's like plenty that would come if you could um, solve one of these problems. But of course, that's not what most people care about. Are they arise purely within math or is there some scientific a pumping of what these problems are or engineering solutions? 